Ladies and gentlemen, Captaincy is coming to Sea of Thieves. We brought updates that were free to those who sailed the sea. Though there's always more potential within. And as this song will spell out, there's plenty to sing about. Now that you can finally be a captain Can you imagine owning your own ship Decorated with what you acquire Then to satisfy your vanity As long as there's no profanity You can name it just how you desire Oh, to set sail as a pirate captain there's boatloads of new features we proclaim Or oh, to set sail as a pirate captain That's why we really think that you should play this game And it's available with Xbox Game Pass of course Oh to set sail as a pirate captain Adventure will come knocking on your door Oh to set sail as a pirate captain And you'll be amazed at what we have in store the choice is yours, whatever captain you may be Whether that's gold, looting, no stop shooting, robot racing or embracing Everybody's welcome in this game So come set sail as a pirate captain Our time is almost up, so as we leave If you want to be a pirate captain Come do it in season 7 to see your thieves So then, as in the trailer just played there, this is our big announcement. Although I was wrong about Tall Tales, we have got the captaincy announcement, the most requested feature in Sea of Thieves. The trailer literally sums up Rare in Von Wei with a great big song, with John McMurtry singing it. Firstly, we can see that pianos are now more or less confirmed, as well the song contains a piano, we haven't got a piano in Sea of Thieves yet, so hopefully we could be getting one on our ships. The next big thing to note is that this is in the Arena Tavern, so could they be opening this back up? They then put down a score which shows the features of Captaincy, which they go on to mention later in the video. But great to see that there could be a future of the Arena Tavern. Okay then, so here they show the first big thing, the first big feature. And that is saving ship loadouts. So finally, we won't have to scroll through all the time, all those customizations every time you log in. You can customize your captain's cabin. This looks insane. The amount of decorations there are, it, 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 I, I, it's uncomprehensible. Also, throughout this video, we see the new outpost building, the new trading company, whatever it might be. We've no idea. That's throughout. Next thing we see is name your own ships. This was obviously leaked as in previous videos that I've mentioned, but we can name our ship anything we want. Ah, oh, it's going to be so many the Black Pearls or the Queen's Anza range out there. It's going to be really fun. There's my few filter camps on them and all sorts. Okay then, so moving on to the next thing they announce in the trailer is new progression. Now the pirate seeing it holds up a crystal ball which is taken directly from the Order of Souls emissary table. So perhaps we're going to be seeing new voyages, new emissary expansion for captains. Love to see new perks like that. Next in the trailer they mention that it's going to be on Xbox Game Pass which they didn't really need to do in my opinion. It, that's obvious, it is on Xbox Game Pass. But then again, talking about progression, they talk more about choose your path. So this could be leaning into more role-playing elements that they could be adding in future seasons as experimented within Lost Sands, so we'll have to see on that. They say earn unique rewards, we don't really know what this is going to be yet, but the interior of the captain's cabin, all of that can't be what you buy. Some of that must be that you earn somehow through unique progression. We then see the new outpost building again, and it says new cash-in points. And it's almost like a tent cell loop with ease. There's so many mechanics, it looks to be harpoons on them. I, God knows what that could be. It's, it, it, it's so weird. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's a lot bigger. And it seems the model has been originally changed from what it used to be when we first got news of this new outpost building, when we first saw it in the trailers. 
And then there's not much more they say in the trailer, they just sort of finish the song. But again, it's so rare, they love doing their little songs, they did it with the Rare Replay all the way back. But boy, I may have been wrong about Tall Tales, but this is equally as massive. The amount of content they've showed off and could be coming is insane. And they're going to be reviewing loads more of it at the Xbox Extended Showcase coming this Tuesday, same 6pm BST. This is going to be releasing the 21st of July, which was to be expected. We know there's six weeks left in the official season pass, but now I definitely understand why they said they needed more time to work on this. There is a huge jump, but we will have the adventure to keep us tied over with for now. So that, that is the one positive thing, we'll have the adventure. So it's not going to be literally a content drought as it used to be when things got delayed. There's not too long to wait now. Now, if we slow down the part where he pulls the scroll out to 0.25, we can see it has all the features they announced, but it also says set sail on special captain's voyages. So it seems when he did mention progression, he did literally mean there's going to be brand new exciting things for him. It also says if we zoom in right on it, that your journey, you can check it in your own captain's log. So perhaps just like in Tall Tales, your, your journey, where you go, your route is going to be documented in a book that you can pick up on your boat. This would certainly explain why a bookshelf was added just not too long ago from now so anyway captain c as a whole it's going to be an amazing addition obviously as i say it is the most requested feature since the launch of the game even more requested than pirate legend voyages and that new outpost building technically this is the first time we're getting an out new outpost building because the castaways area that was for a part of life that's not really a new outpost building it was a building an outpost but it wasn't it was for tall tales it didn't have any real functionality but this the new sovereign trading company as we can see when he puts the scroll down that's what they're called it's brand new functionality i'm so excited i'm so incredibly excited now some of the smaller things you may notice is just there when it said customize your cabin we can see that there's loads of voyages on a table, so could we perhaps be getting a voyage store? There's so much to analyse in this trailer, and so many small, tiny things. Only time is going to tell realistically for Captain C. These are just my initial thoughts, and I'm definitely going to be making follow-up videos, as you can imagine, over the coming weeks. This is like literally the biggest announcement in not Sea of Thieves history, but it, it's, it's going to be their best update of 2022 and Year 5. But anyway, that does bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like. It helps out a ton. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below, as I'm interested to see your early thoughts if you've picked out anything in the trailer that I might have missed and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest CFTs news as and when it comes out. If you want to become a channel member to go the extra mile, you can do so for just a small few months to earn loads of cool perks. But anyways, apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later.